Hey guys, what's up and welcome back. Today I thought it would be a super fun video idea to go through my college portfolio. So I graduated from college eight years ago, which seems like forever ago, and I went to Parsons School of Design in New York City in Times Square. And if you don't know what Parsons is, it's probably one of the best fashion schools in the country and they filmed Project Runway there with Heidi Klum and Michael Kors and I was so honored that I was able to go there and I was so honored that I got in and that I made it through all four years and I graduated but this right here is my work on my portfolio that I built and I looked through it and it might be a little embarrassing to show now but at least I'll show you guys kind of what I did eight years ago, which, you know, fashion obviously moves very fast and has changed, so none of this stuff is probably relevant anymore. So without further ado, let's get into the video. I went to Parsons and Parsons was a crazy school. I have some stories from Parsons. If you ever want me to make a video on my horror stories of Parsons, let me know. But this is my portfolio. So it's very big. Okay, so this is my portfolio. It is quite big. Um, all of the pages in this portfolio and collections of this portfolio were probably made in my junior or senior year. This was nothing from my freshman year. Um, freshman year was all, freshman year had absolutely nothing to do with fashion. When you go to Parsons, it was kind of like, that was like your experimental year, I guess. You don't really do anything with fashion. So, um, yeah, my sophomore and junior year, this is probably what some of this work is from. So, when we were making these collections, we would probably do hundreds and hundreds of sketches before we got down to the final collections. And I think there's maybe like seven collections in here, but yes, each one of these collections we probably did about 100 sketches, which is crazy um, that I even had time to do that. Um, and then in Parsons, all of the classes were mostly six hours long. They were either three hours long or six hours long. So it was a very, very intense school and everyone was very harsh. I don't know, they just told you kind of a lot of negative stuff to really push you and I think that did help. I think that did push a lot of students. A lot of students failed out, but it did push those of us who were determined. The first page is blank. <laughs> so this is getting into my very first collection. I was really into stained glass art or that's what I wanted to try to make this collection all about. And then here are some of the sketches that I ended up doing. And I'll put close-ups in of all these. So yeah, this was like a stained glass collection. Um, it's supposed to have prints and bright colors and kind of almost neon colors. And here is page two of these girls. So I'd say most of the collections we did were probably like, I think eight to 12 looks. And some of these I may have cut out because I've shown this portfolio many times after I graduated. So some of these may be a little bit smaller. The second collection I did was really inspired by Mayan culture. So I am actually Mayan. I was adopted from Honduras. So I wanted to do something that was connected to me. I think the assignment was to like pick a location. So I picked um, all about the Mayans and this really bright yellow color palette, some see-through kind of like more ethnic patterns, olive greens, bright oranges. So this is the collection that I ended up creating. This is probably one of my favorite collections. Um, I really love like, all the beads and all the patterns and the color blocking and the neon colors and the olives and the drape of everything. I love the idea of these like beach cover-ups and see-through colors going through this like really beautiful like gold pattern. So I remember presenting this and I felt really proud of it. Um, and I loved uh, all the girls with their short hair and they had little beads in their hair. So this was actually a really fun collection. 
Um, and then the next collection I think was based on like home decor. It's so funny because I remember thinking I was like, oh my god, I love my mood boards. And like when I look at them now, I think they're really awful. <laughs> I think these are terrible mood boards, but you know, whatever. Um, so this was the first three girls. Um, I wanted to mix in like snake print with this, so like some leather. And then I loved color when I was in school, which is so funny because I don't wear color, but I really love color blocking and making unique shapes. I love dresses, like dresses were my absolute favorite to design. I just have a special place for dresses. And then I think, I did cut out pages of this one, so not everything's in here. Um, so this is the second page. Of looks just really girly, kind of where to work, fashion-y things. So this collection, because I was telling you guys, or because I was saying that I really love color, my teacher challenged me to do something really dark. So I actually was inspired by caves and all these layers of the caves and everything. So I really didn't like dark colors, but I thought, okay, if I'm gonna do something dark, I'm gonna use like, lots of texture and leather and print and knits so i actually this is probably one of my favorite collections it was probably one of the wildest collections that i did but i loved kind of the like camo aspect and the sweaters and all the piecing i love the olive and the brown i actually wish like this was the collection i ended up making for my thesis because this feels more challenging and more i don't know i just think this is newer and cooler than what i actually did for my thesis um and then this was page two puffer leather with sweaters and fur and big chunky knits seaming to some really cool print and pattern big exaggerated exaggerated shapes and fur boots and this was really like one of my favorite collections i love their orange hair shaggy orange hair <laughs> it's just funny how i style them um and then the next collection i based off of thailand i just love the look of white and gold in the palaces so this was actually probably one of my favorite collections again my teacher challenged me to not do so much color because I think color can sometimes come off as being a little cheap. So I wanted to make this like all luxe, lots of texture, just white and gold and fur. So this was the collection I ended up doing and I absolutely love this collection. It was really like, I don't know, like sleek and lots of shapes, lots of gold, lots of sweater knit, lots of texture, fur. Like, I loved everything about this collection. I thought it was so fun. I think my teacher really loved this one, too. And then this was page two of this collection. Lots of piecing and really, really cool. I actually really liked how this turned out. This is probably one of my favorites now when I look back. And then my thesis collection was actually based off of jewelry, like really expensive jewelry and colors and layering and ruffles. And this was a collection I actually ended up physically making. Um, I actually love the sketches on this. I spent so much time. So just so you guys know, like these sketches are done on paper called Parsons paper. And um, it's very expensive paper and you cannot make a mistake <laughs> or you have to start over. So these are all hand painted, hand drawn, like no mistakes. So. It, you can really appreciate them a lot more when you know that they're really all hand painted. So I love the idea of like gradiating this like rainbow pattern with these structured pieces and some flowy pieces with the gold. And these all I actually made. So I'll show, I can show you the photos of them, of what this collection actually turned out looking. It's funny, these girls had gold hair. Is this all? Oh, and then this page, which was before it. So these big structured looks, just lots of layers, and my teachers are so excited. I'll show some process photos of the draping and everything, but yeah, that's my portfolio. So yeah, that's my portfolio. I think there are about 
seven collections in here, maybe less. I don't know, I didn't count. And looking back at them brings back so many memories, so many late nights of working, just so much stress about making these collections perfect. Like I said, it took about 100 sketches to get those like five to seven to 12 looks. And it would be finding fabrics like Back when I was in college eight years ago, you know, Photoshop and Illustrator around, but everything was hand drawn, hand sketched, hand painted. I used gouache as my medium. Um, I didn't print anything, everything was hand done, and I really appreciate that now looking back. Like, all these were hand drawn on the same page, hand painted. You didn't want to make mistakes. You know, you can see on some of them where I did make mistakes and I tried to like cover it up, but. These would be hung in our classroom and our whole class would critique them, our teachers would critique them. And you know, it was a process. It would probably take, you know, two weeks to put together this entire collection. So, and over for my thesis, I that was probably, you know, six months of putting those sketches together and making the images. So I'll pop in the final images of my thesis so you guys can see what they look like. But yeah, that was my college portfolio. I have way, 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 way more work than this. This was just a tiny pinch of what I did in college. Um, these are probably the collections I was most proud of back when I did it. And yeah, if you guys are interested in seeing more of my work from college, I'd be happy to show you guys. I think it's really fun looking back. I can't believe these are eight years old. I can't believe I lived in New York for four years. Like my life is just so different now. So yeah, that's my portfolio. Thank you guys so much for watching and checking out. I hope you enjoyed all of these sketches that I worked on. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Woo!